Hey guys, welcome to the studio. Peter with Evo here and today I'm going to talk to you about the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus. These are two awesome cameras that we use all the time to shoot awesome smooth video with. I'm going to talk to you today about something that uh, many have been searching on the internet for answers to and that is the OIS system for the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus. OIS system on these cameras, OIS stands for Optical Image Stabilization by the way, it is a patented technology by Apple and it's designed to give you smooth video while you're shooting it, shooting handheld with your smartphone. So what does that mean? Well, uh, many people on the internet have said, oh, the OIS, I need to figure out how to turn off the OIS. There's no way to turn off the OIS. The OIS is a mechanical system built inside the camera sensor. In fact, your camera sensor floats between four magnetic poles. It's a patented design that Apple came out with to give you smoother video while you're shooting handheld with your phone. But the problem is, is that the system wasn't designed to compensate for high frequency vibrations uh, such as being having your smartphone mounted to a dash cam or to a hard mount or to a selfie stick. It just simply wasn't designed for that. And like a hard mounted dash cam solution where there are some higher frequency vibrations that might transfer to the mount, gimbals have the same inherent issue, uh, especially when you're shooting video in an action scenario or a high speed scenario. The gimbal does an awesome job of stabilizing your camera horizontally, this way, that way. It's great for walking shots with the iPhone 7, but when you're doing higher speed stuff and you have a lot of chatter going on in your arms, there are a little bit of micro vibrations that wind up making its way to the camera and that results in you know, unwanted jittery footage. So what is the solution to this? Now you're probably searching the internet, OIS, iPhone stabilization on Google or YouTube, and there's not a lot of answers out there. A lot of people are blaming Apple. Oh, it's a setting in the camera that needs to be turned off. No, it's a design problem. So I've come up with a solution for you guys that I think will work really well. I've been testing it for the last month and it works wonders. And it's super, super simple and it's super inexpensive. It's a small magnet, a small neodymium magnet, eight millimeters in diameter. And what this does is it actually gets placed on the front of your phone on the backside of your camera. And what it does is it just locks your camera sensor in place. That's all it does. It locks your camera sensor in place. So now when you're mounting your smartphone to the dash of your car or you have it mounted to your gimbal, it eliminates virtually 90% of those micro vibrations because the camera sensor isn't bouncing around inside the camera housing anymore, inside the smartphone housing, I should say. It can't bounce around anymore because this little guy right here locks it in place. So how does this work? It's pretty simple. What you do, take your magnet and you line up the magnet with the backside of the camera. It goes on just like that and actually stays in place really well. I shoot like this all the time with my iPhone 7 and it gets way better results, especially doing action footage uh, than it would without. And so having said that, I'm gonna show you guys some before and after footage just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, a little disclaimer, if you do decide to try out this method, I'm just going to throw it out there. You know, while I have had no issues whatsoever with this setup using a magnet on my phone, I'm just going to say, use it at your own risk. If this damages your phone, obviously I'm not responsible, but just if you do want to try it out, try it out. It works great. I haven't had any issues with it, but I just need to say that just so you guys know. There's one more trick that I want to tell you guys about and it has to do with the iPhone 7 Plus. Now with the iPhone 7 Plus, you have two camera sensors on here and by default, the camera settings will actively switch between these two cameras. So one thing that you can do 
to get better video out of your gimbal setup with your iPhone 7 Plus is to go into your, cam your camera settings uh, in your smartphone settings menu and turn on the lens lock feature uh, for your iPhone 7 Plus. That's going to lock the uh, camera to one sensor only and you're going to get way better results. So I hope these tricks helped you guys out. Have a good day and remember to keep it smooth.